Thank you, Holy Father, for this powerful dream. I pray that those that you want to really get the fear of God and get right with you will hear this powerful revelation and warning and get right with you, God, and be all in with you 100% and stop playing around, stop playing with their salvation. In Jesus' name. I had a dream that when people die and go to hell, that their soul goes to hell and God calls their spirit. The dream said that he calls their spirit back to him. And without their spirit, they were in total agony and total fear. There was no limit. The dream said that there was no limit to their fear. And they were in total agony and they had no peace. The dream said that there was no peace because those things come from the spirit. And the dream said that the spirit is where the Holy Spirit dwells. So without that humanity, without the spirit of God, they were in total agony in hell and they could not just be calm like people think. They think they can go to hell and just have a good time and be at peace but no they were in total fear and agony for eternity for eternity it was horrible it was horrible because i literally saw the soul like i saw god in a dream he was a huge giant and i saw this person that was bound for hell it was a man when this man went to hell for some reason he was nude now i didn't see his nakedness but I saw enough to know that he was naked. Like I saw him from like the side and I saw he was naked. And I wanna explain what that means cause I know what that means. And I'm not done with the dream though. So let me get back to the dream. And when he went to hell, the Lord called his spirit. Like he didn't speak, but it was like his power and his spirit went to God and it went inside of God. Like it went into him, the spirit. And then his soul, him with the soul that he had in him, went to hell. And then I was told these things in the dream that I already said about how without the spirit, there was total agony. There was no peace. There was total fear. And it was limitless. Their fear was limitless. The dream literally said that. Their lack of patience was limitless. It was just pure agony and torment. And I saw this man go to hell and he was screaming even before he, before he even touched down into hell. And I saw the flames and I saw the darkness because they're in darkness and torment and flames. Yes, there is torment in hell. And so also, I saw myself going through the Bible, looking up scriptures about the soul and the spirit. So I know that I'm to do that as well. Like God was showing me going through the scriptures, looking up soul and spirit. And I was doing a teaching on that. Like I was teaching people like what the Bible said about the soul and the spirit. Being naked means that they don't want to bring their problems to the Lord. Like they go through life and feel like they don't need God. And a lot of people think that they don't do that. They think that that's not them. They're Christians and blah, blah, blah. But I'm telling you for a fact that a lot of people do this and don't realize it. And I know for a fact that that's what being naked means because the Lord revealed it to me twice prophetically. Once I did post it and I'll put that video in the description box, but the other time I didn't post that experience and it was very powerful, but it was personal. But I know for a fact, the Lord revealed to me point blank, being naked means like they don't want to bring their problems to God. They feel like they can do it without God. And they may say they're Christian. They may profess, yeah, I'm a Christian. But when they go through problems, the first person they think about is, oh, I need to get to the government. We need to document this. We need to do this and this and that. Or they need to go to the doctor. They need themselves. They can do it. You know, that's the whole belief now that the devil has blinded people's minds with, that they have the power. They don't need God. They can do it themselves. So people, they profess to be Christians, but they don't really have a relationship with God the way that they should. And even problems like even this scenario of saying, and I know this for a fact because the Lord showed me this, a person even going through very horrible heartache in their lives and not wanting to bring it to God because they think, oh, I know what he'll say. I know, you know, how he'll react. No point in bringing this to God. Then in the spiritual realm, they literally look naked before God 
because they think they don't need God. They don't need a covering. They don't need the garments of their salvation. Amen. Without the garments of salvation, without God's covering, you look naked in the spiritual realm. And I'm telling you for a fact, people who are like this, sinners and things. And I don't like to use the word sinners because as soon as I say sinners, professing Christians think that that's not talking about them. They read the Bible and they say, that's not me, but they do the same things. But people who look like this in the spiritual realm, this is how they look before God, before the angels. They are literally walking around naked. Now, the darkness in hell has to do with the absence of God's light. Amen. It is a physical darkness, but it is also a spiritual darkness. There is no more revelations of Christ. There is no more light of Christ, you know, salvation. The light represents God bringing salvation, God bringing his goodness, God bringing his glory. There is an absence of everything that God brings to bring salvation and truth and revelation. So there's an absence of light and the flames. You know what happens when things are burnt up? They're being purged. We burn things to purge things. Okay. When you cook, you add the heat because you're trying to remove certain things that you don't want in your food. When you add heat to gold, when you're making gold, you add the heat and chemicals to purge it from impurities. So that's why there is fire in hell. Fire represents the purging, the heat that is needed to purge from impurities. Unfortunately, their purging is eternal. There is eternal torment and eternal punishment in hell. God help us, Jesus. Please, Lord God, I pray in the name of Jesus that people will understand that this is their one shot. If they fail in this life and they don't get right with God, eternity hangs in the balance. Eternity is what's important. And they need to keep their minds and hearts set on eternity because this world is a vapor. And if they mess up and don't get it right on this earth, it's eternally too late for them. God is not playing games with us. He's not a liar. He's not a man that he should lie. Neither is he the son of man that he should repent. He told us the truth of hell. He told us it was eternal torment, eternal punishment. So I pray in the name of Jesus that people will get right before it's too late. Get right before it's too late. God help us, Jesus. And that was the dream.